Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and this is, well, it's a segment of ship updates now, of course. We kind of shelved it a little bit because there aren't always updates, but I feel that when there are, maybe we will bring it back, make it like a little segment thing, and then otherwise just continue with the piracy show as normal, but this week, yes, there are some ship updates. And our first update has to deal with this ship here. Now, if you're not sure what ship this is, this is a ship that not a lot of people talk about, I rarely ever mention, called the Hammerhead. It's scheduled for release in September of this year. And CIG has outright said that they are currently working on it. Some people have said, well, it's probably going to be because it's going to be in Squadron 42 as well. And so people, of course, would be curious. Well, you're working on it. What are you currently working on? Well, now we know. CIG is currently working on blocking out the interior of the Hammerhead. Now, of course, we saw the Hammerhead briefly in, during an animated clip during uh, the anniversary sale. But, you know, the interior they emphasized was not finished yet. Now, of course, this still represents a work in progress. However, part of uh, RTV today, they were talking about fixes and updates and iterating on turret gameplay which is of course very important to the hammerhead so promising ship indeed next up is a ship scheduled for 3.1 which is the anvil terrapin this is a scanning and exploration ship been in the works for a little while and hopefully by at least the end of march you might be flying it now, next up, I'd like to play you a clip from today's RTV. Now, of course, they did talk about things like turret improvements, which, of course, affect the hammerhead. But there was another interesting tidbit that got dropped. He doesn't know. It's not an area he, he works on. Good effort. Um, one of the questions from the chat that came through, um, <laughs> have, we got, have, we, have we considered uh, beam weapons? Uh, he's referring to, like, st like the old Star Trek phasers, the, you know, the, 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 the beam weapons. Is, is that a... Is that a weapon type we've considered? Is that a, or you've considered, or have we ruled that out? So I'll tell a little story about beam weapons. Um, Do go on. When I first started here, beam weapons weren't in the law. Um, and then a, a designer who would remain anonymous uh, <laughs> did a little prototype uh, and showed it to Chris and the writers. Uh, I believe it was uh, one of the squadron guys. Um, of this turret with beam weapons and the moment they saw that they were like that looks awesome we should do that and whilst we don't have the the code in place to do it we do have them on the schedule to come uh, and they do provide like uh, a very different gameplay we sort of for each of the weapon types ballistic and energy and other types we sort of try and have symbiotic ones so the ballistic gatlings the very fast firing ballistic weapons whereas energy beam ones are their equivalent so it's a continuous stream of matter um, so yeah they they are it's on yeah list. it's strange isn't it because we do kind of almost the doors open for like an energy gatling mm. as well yeah there's, there's but a ballistic to beam it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that see you're, you're, you're getting design red. is hard you're getting red <laughs> hot and bothered i can already see it yeah <laughs> One, so 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 what, what was the uh, we went off on a tangent there so so what's 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 the answer about beam weapons in Star Citizen just just one line yes okay maybe Ma <laughs> <laughs> yes at some point yeah okay all right so um, here's another question uh, from the ch so now let's get into the piracy show element and uh, really talk about. What do we think of that? Uh, my initial reaction when I heard beam weapons, I kind of went, oh no, people are going to flip out over this. Some people are going to be like, this isn't Star Trek. This is supposed to be more like Star Wars. And <laughs> I mean, the, I kind of, that was my initial reaction. I thought beam weapons, uh, I don't know. I mean, like you look at the two back seats there in the uh, Caterpillar. I mean, I suppose if you changed out the turrets on the Caterpillar and made them like beam weapon turrets, then I guess they could be 
kind of remotely operated from those two seats like you could you know have a, just a list of targets that appear on the screen and you could target various ships and when they come into range or when the turret kind of turns to face them you know with a traditional energy weapon you kind of go until the capacitor kind of discharges and then you wait for that weapon to charge back up again so maybe beam weapons could be like a thing that you you automatically target a ship and then you kind of got to bring your ship and maintain your positioning so that you're always kind of facing the same facing or something like that. So it'd be kind of like maneuver, counter maneuver when two ships are fighting. And as soon as that capacitor charges up, maybe the beam weapon just automatically discharges the whole, you know, the whole of the capacitor in like one kind of blast where it's just kind of like... <laughs> I'm trying to do the sound effects. It's hilarious. But you know what I mean? It's just kind of like one continuous phaser blast until the... Uh, you know, until the, the basically the capacitor is discharged and then it has to cycle, recharge, and then do it again. Something like that. I mean, that could create some kind of interesting layered gameplay, especially around much larger ships. And I mean, with certain restrictions, like if it was near impossible to target a fighter with something like that, I think it could be pretty interesting for ship to ship, like large ship against large ship combat. And by, you know, switching to those weapons, then you would remove the ability or maybe limit the ability of using your turrets to fight off other fighters. You know, I mean, it could add some interesting layers to combat. But I kind of kept coming back to the point of, like, do, does it feel like it would belong in the Star Citizen universe? I don't know. One of the ships that I instantly thought of was the Polaris, and of course that little turret underneath the bridge, that might be a good place to stick, like, a beam weapon turret, so you can kind of, like, as you're flying past ships, after you fired your torpedoes, you might be able to get in a few shots with that turret, and then kind of as you're, I guess, veering away on your attack run. It could be kind of interesting, but in the end, I always kind of, like, I always kind of keep coming back to is it is it does it feel like it belongs and i i really don't know i'm so conflicted i mean as someone who's kind of a big star trek fan i look at it and go oh yeah that would be kind of cool but then i think oh man people might freak out about that and does it really feel like it belongs in the star citizen universe i mean it could potentially completely change the feel of the hammerhead if you go with this kind of like limited use against fighters but more against larger ships it could change the hammerhead from an anti-fighter kind of aa platform into some kind of not quite corvette not quite small vessel ship for dealing with larger combat ships or just larger ships in general it could really change the nature of the hammerhead now, of course, ultimately, it's all speculation. This is something that may not come to pass. Now, of course, they've said that it's all something that's on the schedule, and that was something that John Cruz said in the interview. But as to when, not really hinted at it. I mean, it's like Sadaball. It's one of these things that people might, in a year from now, go, oh, yeah, that thing. So, I mean... It may be something that never materializes in the Star Citizen universe, but it, it certainly, I mean, it creates kind of interesting possibilities. But I always kind of come back to that same aesthetic question. Does it seem like it's something that fits in the Star Citizen universe? Now, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, it, I don't know if it quite fits. You know, the Star Trek fan in me is kind of like, ooh, that would be really cool. But then I, 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 I always keep tripping over the aesthetic question. If it, it really feels right for the Star Citizen universe. But ultimately, that decision is not made by me. It's made by CIG and also the backers like you who will voice your opinions, hopefully on Spectrum or Reddit or wherever. And then hopefully at some point we'll see where that all shakes out. But an interesting possibility for the future. Anyways, yep, something to consider. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.
Thank you, thank you for watching. So, so, so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.